What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this, the DJI Mavic Pro. Is it a good buy in 2021? And the short answer, absolutely yes. And I have a few reasons why. So the first reason is just price. Uh, when this was new, the Fly More package, which came with two extra batteries, um, some extra blades, and a quad charger was $1,300. I bought this particular drone for $600, but right now, as of filming this video, you can find the Fly More package for the Mavic Pro on eBay for $450. So just price alone, this drone is an absolute steal right now. If you're watching this video, probably just getting into drones and you're going to crash this thing. This this drone in particular, I crashed on the second day I owned it. I, uh, I stuck it in a tree 150 feet up. I've hit bridges with it. I've hit branches and trees with it. Uh, as much as you wanna think that you're a pro drone flyer, you're gonna hit it into things. And having a $450 drone is significantly different than having a $1,200 drone. So the camera on the Mavic Pro, it is by no stretch an Inspire or a Mavic 2 a Hasselblad. It is an older camera, but it is still capable of 2.7K or 4K images. Um, it has D-Log and it has all the dynamic range for a shot that you're probably gonna use as long as you play into the camera strengths. To play to those strengths, either fly this drone in the daytime, in the early morning or late afternoon, don't fly it at night. The, uh, the camera just isn't that great. And even the more expensive drones don't really create a great image at nighttime. So flying this during the day at 100 ISO, you're going to get a great image out of it. It's an older camera, but it still produces a 4K image. It still gets you plenty of dynamic range. And if you use it right, um, there really should not be any reason why you can't use this on a professional shoot. For me personally, I've shot real estate with it. I've shot commercials with it. I've shot personal projects with it. And it has paid for itself over and over. The first ever shoot I did with this drone, I got paid $850 to take it out. And being only a $600 drone that I paid for, it paid for itself plus some on just one professional shoot. Another great thing of the Mavic Pro is you're getting 90% of the tech of new drones for 40% of the cost. It still has GPS positioning. It has uh, the ability to use waypoints and fly between the waypoints. You get tripod mode for super steady shots. Uh, you have sport mode if you're trying to follow a car. You have active track if you're trying to follow a car. You have a follow me mode where it'll basically you select where you want it to go and it'll follow that point. It has just about every feature as the Mavic 2 and the Air 2, but it is significantly cheaper. So one of the big critiques of an older drone like this is that it has a lower megapixel camera. And something that you can do that I do personally to combat that is instead of taking one photo, take several photos and then combine those photos in post. And you would be very surprised at the kind of photos that you can get out of a four-year-old drone and a four-year-old camera just by using modern technology. And lastly, if you're a photographer or you're a videographer, just learning the skill set and the knowledge of how to fly a drone is becoming more and more important. If you do commercial work, if you do real estate work, you're going to run into a drone. And having the knowledge and whereabouts to use that drone or to know how to talk to the drone operator to get the shots that you want is becoming more and more important. So the bottom line is this, there are definitely better drones out there but they're gonna cost more. For $450, you're getting one heck of a drone. You're getting something that you can learn, uh, that you're not afraid to crash, that has almost all of the technology as a Mavic 2 Pro or as an Inspire or as pretty much any of like the newer drones has, but you're doing it for much less of cost. And so for the money, I just really don't see a better drone out there than the Mavic Pro. 
and if you are into like Instagram or YouTube or that, this drone is absolutely going to tick every box that you need. It does 4K, it takes incredible photos, and it, more importantly, it gets you in so you can learn the art of flying drones for a cheap price, and if you put this thing into a tree 150 feet up, it's not the end of the world. And for that, I still think the Mavic Pro is one of the best drones out on the market today. And that's pretty much gonna cover it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, consider subscribing, and if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another one.